Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. I have a pass out for the entire day in the garage, which is great. So the Minister for War and Finance has approved it. Unfortunately, it is bitterly cold today because I'm in England and there's no heater in the garage. I have got my support buddy, Attila the Hat, which I'm wearing, uh, and that keeps me a little bit warm. But I digress. So jobs for today. Well, I'd like to sort out the chain drive for the Dynastart so that when we do the final engine assembly, that can go straight on and we know that we can turn the engine over for starting. So the small sprocket for the drive side is a 14T sprocket and it's quite thin. And the Dynastart itself has a woodruff key on the shaft that comes out. So this sprocket won't have any bolts through it, it's running on a keyway. Now if I put a slot in there and put that on the keyway, there's gonna be a lot of torque in here uh, and a lot of torque from the engine driving it as well. So it's probably not the best um, way to mount it. What I'm planning to do is to get an old bit of steel here to uh, turn it down so it slides over that nicely, put a keyway in it, and then weld the sprocket to it. So just put a line of weld around there. I'll put them between centers so that they're running concentric, and then I can bolt the whole thing on um, using the, the, the thread on the outside so it doesn't slide off, and use the, the, the full length of that keyway on that boss there um, to drive the, the sprocket. And the other end, I need to do something, but that's in the other shed, so I'm just gonna teleport over there. Over to the shed, oh, uh, getting better at this, where we have the driven sprocket or the drive sprocket, depending if the engine's running or being started. So this, this is the 48 teeth large plate wheel that we're going to mount to the end of the crankshaft. But on top, or on top of, um, on the side of that is going to be the drive for the belt for the clutch. So those two pieces need to go on the end of the crank. And you can see here on the diagram, this is the crankshaft here, flywheel, drive side, crankshaft. That crankshaft has got two bearing inners on it. One of them, the main bearing runs in. The other one provides a smooth service for an oil seal, which is then retained by a circlet, but that's inside the engine case. So the end, all of these bearing inners need to be locked on that shaft. They're not shrunk fit, they're a, a really nice slide fit on the shaft. So there's a spacer there, and the sprocket itself, when you bolt the sprocket on, it traps these bearing inners onto the shaft. Now the sprocket isn't the last thing on, we've also got the drive pulley, the drive pulley, exhibit A, uh, that drives the belt for the clutch and uh, hopefully me and the whole vehicle down the road. But there needs to be a gap between that pulley and the sprocket so that the chain and the belt don't cross over each other and, and, and there's a bit of clearance. So that spacer there is this piece here. On the end of the crankshaft is a little spigot to help locating things. So this is one solid piece here. It provides a spacer between the sprocket and the pulley. It goes over the spigot in the end of the crankshaft and it goes into the, the middle of the uh, sprocket, of the large sprocket. And then on this side, this part of the spacer, it's this piece here, this part of the spacer goes into the drive pulley to locate it and then the whole lot is locked up with four big long bolts that go all the way through. Now I can show you that on the edge of the, if I take this with me, show you that on the edge of the crankshaft. These are our flywheels that we made. Uh, exhibit D, this is the Conrad and flywheels and there's a, a fair bit of size and a fair bit of weight in that as well. So on the end, we've got just a retainer plate here and we've got the four bolts here that have been tapped through. So if I loosen those four bolts, just slightly, that retainer plate there will be replaced by the spacer that we're making. That's the bearing inner for the, the um, seal, that's the bearing inner for the bearing itself, and that's the spacer that keeps the, the space between the flywheels and the edge of the inner side of the engine case. So it's that spacer that we need to make here so that we can mount the 48 teeth sprocket. And we also need to drill the four holes in the sprocket and drill the four holes into the pulley 
that drives it as well. So all of that will be mounted on the end of the crankshaft and the space has started to be made in here and we'll probably finish that job today. So with the following wind by the end of the day we will have the chain drive fully fabricated and connected for the diner start so that when we do final assembly that's one more thing that's taken care of and the last job then really is to sort the oil tank which is in progress but that's for another video when the Goodrich hose comes so that's what I plan to do today I'll put another video on later with what we actually did today uh, and we'll see how far we get and uh, that's the update for now thank you very much for watching as usual more updates will follow did he say a till of the hat? A till of the hat? What's that all about? A till of the hat. If you have the means, I highly recommend you pick one up. Warmest garment I own.